Okay, Aston Villa uh, taking them to Champions League football. Incredible feat. Phil Foden, um, even the Premier League voted in player of the season. Top, top uh, season he had. Cole Palmer, obviously, signing of the season. What, 22 goals? How many assists? I think 10. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Mateta, my surprise of the season. He had what? Was it three goals? That's a good before? choice. Yeah. That's actually a very good choice. He had what? Three goals before Glasney came. 10. Yeah. He's banged double figures in goals. Excellent, excellent season he had. A flop of the season. I picked Enzo Fernandez because of the expectation. Last season was just six months, the second half of the season. And we expected big things from him. It just didn't work out. And uh, he himself admitted that he's not been too good this, uh, for, um, yeah, for Chelsea. Surprise club of the season. That also goes to Aston Villa because of the work that Unai Emery did. And then disappointing club of the season, Manchester United, of course, from third to eighth. But they are happy, so um, good for them. Uh, my goalkeeper is Alisson. Um, he had a really good season, the highest save percentage in the Premier League. In fact, but for him, I think Liverpool would have been out of the title race before the running. Um, I go for a back three, Magalesh, Saliba, um, Arsenal's centre-back pair, and that's the best defence in the Premier League. Tarkovsky. It's interesting to know that Everton had the best, fourth best defence in did, the Premier League. Yes, did. after the top three. They followed. I actually almost picked Brightwaite as my signing yeah. of the season. I, I picked Tarkovsky because yeah. obviously he was that what a uh, great senior guy. figure in the, at the back for Everton. Then I go with Declan Rice and, and Rodri for obvious the, choices. Yeah, obvious choices. Palmer, um, Foden, Bruno Fernandes. Because look, in as much as my United was poor, well, my United were poor through, uh, throughout the season. He did his job. One of the best creative players in the in the league this season. And, so um, him over Odegaard. Yeah, him over Odegaard. Um, Odegaard was playing for the team that finished second. Still didn't create uh, chances uh, more than Bruno Fernandes. If Bruno Fernandes had Havertz or Haaland, he probably would have won the league or something. Um, Haaland, uh, brilliant season again. And then Watkins, um, okay. goals and assists also. Brilliant for Aston Villa. Uh, my coach yeah. is... He ranks 